guys and welcome to my 2020 Sakura stuff tasting video. I'm so excited. I'm actually working today but two of my students are actually absent so I got lucky and have a really long break so I like came all the way home just for this video. Um, it's a bit early but there's a lot of Sakura stuff out already so I'm gonna start with the Sakura tea that has like actual Sakura petals. I'll show you all the close-ups of everything separately. Mmm. It does taste like Sakura, like with no sugar and no, none of that weird salty flavor. A lot of Sakura things have like a salty pickled, pickled Sakura flavor added to it. And I'm kind of worried that some of these things will. I think all these things for the most part are sweets. Mmm. Maybe there is a slight salty flavor, but it's so not noticeable that it's like totally drinkable, totally fine. This is really good. I like this tea. Sakura tea is like actually literally like a ball of sakura, like just balled up. Amazake. Amazake is like a rice drink, kind of like rice wine, Nihonshu, but it's um, not alcoholic. And this one's sakura flavored and it's very pink and very cute. I need to grab a cup for this. All right, let's open it up. It smells not very good. I hope you can't hear those high school boys yelling outside, but oh, this is my cute ice cream cup. It's got like little chunks. I hope those are like cherry blossom petals. Mm. Tastes like pure sugar with chunks in it. Not a fan of that one. Okay, moving on. Next up, let's try um, maybe this Sakura Latte. This one looks good. It smells like just plain cherry though. You might be disappointed with this one. It'll probably just be cherry flavored, but All right here we go, Sakura Latte. Yeah, it just tastes like straight up cherry milk, but it's good, but not Sakura, but still good. All right, let's move on to some solid items. Next up, let's try this Sakura cookie cake thing. It smells like Sakura, so this is promising. Ooh, it's like gooey. Ooh, it's like got like mochi or something in it. Interesting. And it, I think it's got bits of Sakura leaf too. That one's good. I had a bit of a strange texture. It was a lot gummier than I thought it was gonna be. I was expecting it to be more like a cakey light cookie. But it does sort of taste like Sakura and it's sweet. It doesn't have any weird like hidden salty bits. So that's a good thing, I guess. Next up, we're going to try this little cookie thing. It smells like maybe like Sakura. That one was good, but it just tasted like white chocolate filled cookie. Not really anything special, but it was good, but not really Sakura. All right, next up we're gonna try this like mochi chocolate Sakura thing. Mm, it smells like cherry, very much like cherry. And there's mochi in it. It tastes like um, maybe tea flavored, like black tea flavored mochi with a little bit of cherry flavor and covered in chocolate. It was also good, but it wasn't like that Sakura flavor I am yearning for. <laughs> okay, next up, um, this cookie thing I got from Kaldi. It's like a little cake cookie. I think it's Sakura powder. All I read some of the ingredients for all of these. Well, not all the ingredients because they're Japanese, but I was specifically looking for the kanji for Sakura flower and or Sakura leaf. So I knew what I was getting and I was trying to find things that had specifically sakura flower extract so all these things have actual sakura flower extract in them so let's try this one it 
So that one was interesting. It, I don't even know how to describe it. It just like poofs in your mouth like a cloud, but it's like kind of like a cookie or like a bunch of cookie crumbs stuck together and they just kind of dissipate in your mouth. And it tasted like the slightest bit of salty at first, but then it does taste kind of like sakura and then it just tastes like cookie. But that one was pretty good. I would recommend that one. It's good for spring. Next up, I've been excited for this one, this flower sakura shaped cookie chocolate. It's like chocolate cookie. I don't know. It just smells like strawberry or something though. Maybe. Let's try it. It's like the texture of chocolate and cookie together. Beautiful as that cookie was. It just tastes like white chocolate. That was kind of disappointing. I was expecting more from that one. Okay. Anyway, next. This chocolate crunch thing from Kaldi, the Sakura, and I guess it has crunchy bits in it too. Mmm, just tasted like white chocolate with a slight bit of cherry flavor and crunchy. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like... A lot of these are just like disappointing. They're good, but it's not like spend that extra money and feel like spring by eating it good. <laughs> Alright, next up, we'll try the mini sakura cookie, but I'm guessing it's from the same place I got the bigger one, so I don't know if this one will be better or not. But this one's not a chocolate mix cookie, it's just a plain cookie, so it just smells like a butter cookie. Yeah, just a normal pink cherry blossom shaped cookie. They're very cute though and aesthetic if you want to bring those to your hanami party. Okay, next up. Uh, let's try cream colon colon colon. Not a very attractive name when you say it in English, but I think it's matcha flavored crunchy bit on the outside and then sakura stuff on the inside. It smells like just like strawberry or fruity though. Or cotton candy. Actually, so far that one was pretty good. Um, usually I'm not a fan of matcha in the form of sweets. I love like just plain matcha, like tea ceremony matcha. But when you first bite into it, the matcha really hits you. And then you chew into it more. I don't know if I would actually say it was sakura flavored, but it really makes you feel kind of springy, I guess. And it might be, I don't know, it's just like a sweet flavor that... I guess if you imagine a sakura's flavor but never tried like actual sakura flavored things, you would assume that's what it tasted like. So that one was actually pretty good. I recommend those ones. Okay, next we have this little cookie thing. It's like a biscuit thing with sakura cream. Oh, it smells like sakura. Ooh, it's kind of like an Oreo. The cream inside has like little bits of sakura leaf you can see too. I have high hopes for this one. Okay, that one was the best so far. The cookies are like buttery and really good and crispy. Then inside it is purely that sakura flavored, like everything that I wanted in a sakura flavored thing. That one is the best. This little cookie thing, amazing. Okay, next up, this potato chip. Their potato chips, it has actual like sakura extract. It's supposed to be like chicken sakura something. It doesn't smell like sakura though. It smells kind of smoky. But it says you should be able to like taste the sakura flavor, so here we go. It just tastes smoky and not like sakura at all, but they're potato chips that have a smoky flavor, so they're good, but not really sakura-like. <laughs> but I guess I wasn't expecting too much sakura out of those. Okay, next. The Pockies. There's this one that has like a bit of salt on the outside, then sakura cream, and then buttery biscuit. And I might have tried these last year, I don't remember. And then this one, I think it's sakura stick, and then matcha on the outside. Oh, it smells? They both smell kind of sakura-y. The pink one smells more buttery, though.
Okay, next up for the salty one. Okay, so the matcha one just tasted like matcha. I didn't taste any sakura. And then the sakura one was so good. That was probably another one of my top favorites. So the cream cologne thing, the sakura, the plain sakura paki, and that sweet Oreo like cookie thing so far are my top three favorites. Next up are candies. This one's like a chewy sakura candy. It smells like sakura. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, that is exactly sakura flavor in the form of like a chewy, kind of like a high chew or a starburst, except sakura flavored. That one was really good. I like that one too. I think I'll have to include that in my top couple too. Okay, next up is a sakura gummy. Just a heart shaped gummy. It just smells like cherry though. cherry so that one's just kind of your typical <laughs> typical cherry flavored gummy it was good but uh not sakura but still good next up we have a little sakura sugar candy i'm worried this one's just gonna be like straight up sugar yeah that one was just pink straight up sugar didn't really have a flavor not a fan of that one. Okay, next up, Sakura Jam. I guess I'm just gonna like get a spoon. First, I'm gonna smell it. Mmm, that smells good. It smells like Sakura. Ooh, I'm gonna get a spoon. Maybe just a chopstick just to get a little glob. You can see it's got little bits of petal in it too. Oh, it smells good. That one was pretty good. That one's not overly sweet like you would expect a jam to be, actually. And it has just like the right amount of sakura flavor and it's a very pretty pink. And it said you can mix it with yogurt and like probably eat it on toast and there's like you could bake with it. So I like that one a lot. That one's really good. Having that inside a donut would be amazing. Ooh, okay. Anyway, um, last we have a Sakura Mint. I saved this one for last just because I've never seen anything like it before. It's maybe the weirdest, but it smells like berries? Maybe like Sakura. I don't know. It's not really minty, but it's got a little bit of like a menthol -y berry taste, but then it's got like a tea taste that kind of makes it taste like cherry blossom ish. Mmm, I like it. It tastes like berry tea not like sakura but more like berry tea but it's got that feeling of sakura like you can tell they were inspired by sakura when they made it mm. interesting okay oh wait i still have one more tea this one is the lipton sakura tea it's a japan limited special thing i think they have it every year i don't i know i didn't try it last year because i was like oh it's just lipton i can get it anywhere but i don't think they actually sell it outside of japan so i might as well try it Ooh, it actually smells really cherry like but it's just brown i think it's like black tea mixed with cherry blossom or something but it smells very much like cherry it smells really nice actually hot it just tastes like cherry and black tea it doesn't taste like sakura but it's good i like it and it smells really nice 
I do like this tea. I definitely buy it again. So, in conclusion to my Sakura tasting video, the cream colon, 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 colon thing, the Sakura Paki, that Oreo like cookie thing with the uh, Sakura leaves, I got that from Kaldi, I think, and the Sakura gummy were the most Sakura flavored and the most best tasting ones, I think, out of the whole thing. The Sakura tea was pretty good. Actually, no, wait, that one's up there too. Um, as a really like simple everyday Sakura flavor thing you can have. Uh, that one I got from Kaldi also. Then like the cream cologne and Pocky and stuff, you can find us in like Kombini's stores anywhere. And um, yeah, that's what I liked and what I didn't like. What I didn't like the most was that the candy that was just pure sugar. That was awful. Like, it smells kind of like flower-ish, but it's like, ugh, I don't recommend that one. I got that one from Kaldi, too. Kaldi has a lot of things, like, and then there was another store that had a whole bunch of Japanese sweets, the one where I got the flower-shaped cookies from. They even had a straight-up Sakura cake, and I really wanted to try that, but I was like, I don't want to have a whole cake to myself, and if I open it, I can't save it, because a lot of these things, I bought so many snacks, I can't eat all these myself, so I'm going to save them and bring them to like Hanami parties and stuff and maybe share them with friends and stuff but like a whole cake that would go to waste so I felt really bad I wanted to get it and it seemed really good but anyway I hope you guys like this video I'm gonna be showing you so many flower related things coming up soon it is still February right now it's cold I'm in the middle of my work day still it's still early February actually but I just wanted to get in the Sakura mood and I saw so many Sakura food things already, like a ridiculous amount. So that's why I was able to make this video already. And yeah, I hope you guys like it and I will see you guys next time.